Hello dear students, welcome to the Quantum Guru. Let's see this very good question of geometrical optics from J Advance 2019. The question states, thin convex lenses made of two materials of uh, refractor index N1 and N2 as shown. Uh, the value of the radius of curvature of the left and right surface are equal F and the focal length of the lens when the N1 is equal to N2 was N is equal to F. And uh, when n1 is equal to n, but n2 has become n2 plus delta n, the focal length becomes f plus delta f. Assuming uh, delta n much, much smaller than n minus 1 and n between 1 and 2, so which of the following options are correct? And it is uh, more than one option correct, so we'll examine. But before we go ahead, I just want to state that whenever there is a, some, there is some variable and change in variable is much much smaller than the original value so we can employ the uh, <clears throat> tools of using calculus and that i'll use here so what you can see here that here this part uh, refractor index does not change and this part refractor index change so accordingly overall focal length change the change in focal length of this part is delta n and overall change in focal length is delta f so now let's go ahead. See initially, this lens which is made of two uh, identical plano convex lens has uh, two parts, both equal to refractor index same as equal to n. And accordingly, the equivalent focal length was given to be f. So it means that both parts would also have the same focal length and that focal length will be uh, twice of f. Only then you will get the resultant focal length f. And that f to this other part, this f2 means 1 by f2 and that is 1 by 2f and that we can write because either part is a plano convex lens so that will be n minus 1 by r. Now in the second case the first part focal length or rather refractor index does not change. So this focal length will not change but because this part refractor index changes so this part focal length will change and accordingly overall focal length will also change so now the suppose the new focal length has become f equivalent dash and for the second part if i now, now write one upon f2 and that will be n2 minus one divided by r as n2 changes f2 changes and change in n2 is delta n but I am uh, taking very, very, very little change of uh, n and accordingly very little change of f. So in general, in the second case, I am writing the overall focal length that will be 1 upon f equivalent and the sum of 1 upon f1 and 1 upon f2. So I am taking the incremental change of this. So d of 1 upon f equivalent is equal to d of 1 by f1 plus d of 1 by f2. f1 does not change. So any small or large change will be 0. So that is 0. d of 1 upon f equivalent, uh, let me write it dash. Or rather, that is the in general, general value. That is a general value. So let it be just 1f equivalent only. So that will be how much minus of 1 upon f equivalent square into d of f equivalent. And in place of d of 1 by f2, first I will write d of in place of 1 by f2, I am writing uh, d of n minus 1 by r. So f equivalent initial value was f. So here I am going to write uh, minus 1 upon f square. And the change in focal length of the overall system is delta f and because f chooses to use calculus so in place of delta f equivalent I will use only df. And here uh, 1 by r will go outside r is a constant d of n minus 1 is dn minus d1 d1 is obviously 0 that is a dn and uh, 1 by r from this equation I will use 1 by r is equal to 1 by 2f into 1 upon n minus 1. So that I will get dn divided by uh, 2f into n minus 1. And 1f one will get cancelled. So finally, I will get minus df by f 
is equal to uh, dn divided by twice of n minus 1. And this is the base thing that I'll be using to conclude whether all the four options are correct or not. So let's go to the next page. So we had obtained df by f is equal to minus dn divide by twice of n minus 1. And in the language of this question, the small change is delta. In terms of delta, I can write delta f by f is equal to delta n divided by, with negative sign obviously, twice of n minus 1. And if I take mod of this thing, because in the first option mod is asked. So if I take mod, so I can write mod of delta f by f is equal to mod of delta n divided by twice of n minus 1 mod and c given in the question n is between 1 and 2 so uh, n minus 1 will be between 1 minus 1 to 2 minus 1 mean n minus 1 is between 0 to 1. So twice of n minus 1 is between 0 to 2 and n is between less than 2. So I can conclude that twice of n minus 1 is less than n. So you can see that this denominator is less than n. So the 2 into n minus 1 is positive and less than n. So I can say mod of delta f by f is uh, greater than mod of delta n by n. Now I will check options one by one. So immediately option A is rejected because there is a less than and I have got greater than. Now let me check option B. Uh, from this relation that is the exact relation so option b i'll put the values mod delta f is equal to mod f f is how much f is 20 and change in n delta n is 10 to power minus 3 and twice of n minus 1 n is 1.5 1.5 minus 1 so that will be just 1 so how much that will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 and that is how much 0 0.02 centimeter so option b is uh, perfectly all right so b option is correct and see here this equation this form is with modulus so if i remove the modulus sign if i remove the modulus sign you can see that uh, this there is a minus sign here so if delta f by f is positive, so that would mean delta n by n is negative because already there is a minus sign between them. Here this is without the modulus. So with modulus, this was the relation. But if delta f by f is positive, so obviously delta n by n should be negative. So this option is also correct. And C. Again in this relation, the relation between delta f by f and delta n by n that we have obtained. Uh, we have not used the sine of f. The thing, the only thing that uh, we have used that the ROC of both sides are same. We haven't used the fact whether they are positive or not negative. So the relation will remain same if the convex surface are replaced by concave surface because still they will have the same R and only thing that will change that they that r will become negative so this answer is also correct so we've got three correct answer that is b c and d so thank you